Hey everybody, it's Adam from Collection DX, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Super Alloy 1-6 scale collectible figure Batman by Jim Lee, made by Play Imaginative. Whew, that's a mouthful. So, uh, yeah, first time Chagokin maker Play Imaginative is uh, apparently really known for um, vinyl and sort of designer style toys. This is their first entry in the Chagokin market, and apparently they got the DC license. So, in the box you get the little dragon slash gargoyle that does have a magnet in the base, so the feet will sort of magnetically attach to it to kind of hold them securely. Um, it is indeed a 1-6 scale posable figure that is about 85% die-cast metal. Um, this bad boy weighs just at about two pounds. Um, based on the new 52 version of Batman, um, many of the heroes, including Superman uh, and Batman, are, are sporting new armored suits. Uh, Superman's is a Kryptonian battle suit. Batman's obviously is fashioned more after the... Uh, uh, the films. So the lines and sort of that aesthetic of it looking like a metal suit is intentional. It seems to fit for the uh, for the uh, design. So as you see here, I wanna, I'm showing you some of the articulation. Uh, I really like the mixed media here. The, die, the, the paint job is excellent on this, I have to admit. Um, not a lot of forward and back motion goes side to side, but the head does turn. Um, the waist there, just below the chest, it does turn very loosely. Now, to be fair, there is a plastic guard in there that you are supposed to remove. Um, I've left it in for fear of scratching the metal underneath. Uh, I'll say, in the hands, this feels very, very similar to a high-end Chagokin piece like uh, the Future X Goken line. Very similar, matter of fact, to the Future X Goken stuff. Um, the, everything's really well made, except for the joints here on the elbows. It's just they don't feel right. They feel a little chintzy, and as you can see here, I'm only getting uh, like two clicks of um, uh, movement. There's a lot of slack in the arm, and it just feels a little... Uh, cheap, I guess, is the best way. Because everything else on the figure is, is really well thought out, actually. Um, plastic content is just the, uh, you know, the forearms, I mean, the, uh, the hands, the shoulders, uh, the vinyl part around the waist, um, knees, the head. That, everything else is metal on this guy. Uh, you know, even they even go through and cover the screw holes. Like It's a very well-made piece of Chagokin. Um, I've got to say, though, this thing confuses me. I, I'm, I'm not sure who the intended target is for, because I have learned just kind of reviewing stuff over the years and interacting with the audience that there are different kinds of collectors out there that more often than not, superhero collectors and, you know, this is, I would think, aimed at them, um, would not spend the $275 that this thing is going for. That's an awfully expensive piece for a Batman figure. Um, as a, as a high-end Gokin, it's not unusual, but I find more often than not, Batman tends to be outside of most you know, robot Goken collectors. So I'm, I'm a little, yeah, I'm not really sure who the, the main target audience is for this. Um, cape magnetically attaches. I thought that was a very nice touch. And the cape also has wires built into the outer frame of it there on the very outside, um, as well as being sort of multi pleated. So it really does give you some nice display options. You, know, you can make it look windblown and drape it the way you want, and it, it, it the like the mixed media look really looks decent in person. I'm hoping that the HD video does that well because I found that this figure really seems to be dependent on angle and how you pose them. Um, accessories just comes with the two batarangs and a uh, grappling hook, that magnetic base I told you about, and there you go. This is pretty much it. You know, this is the kind of stuff you can do. He's twelve, you know just uh, right around 12 inches tall. Um, it's a beautiful piece. Um, just a bit of an oddity in the Chagokin landscape, but
if it's caught your eye and you're, you're you've been thinking about it just know it's uh it's well worth looking at it's not horrible um so there you go that's that thanks to angles for getting that over to us and thank you for watching listening be sure to check out the full review over at collectiondx.com <laughs>